Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I have shown you how to compile Quantum Espresso using Intel compiler, but I have only shown you um, how to compile um, PW.x, which is one of the sub-programs of Quantum Espresso. Um, so in this video, I will show you how to compile um, all of the programs using Intel compiler. Um, the reason is that um, in the future, when you want to do some projects or you want to follow my uh, tutorial later, you may need um, other sub-programs other than this pw.x. So let's get started. So first, go into the um, installation directory. Um, and uh, the, s the first thing to do is to source the um, Intel uh, compiler and um, parastudio dot bin p dot sh. Yes. And then, since we have already configure, configured uh, everything, you shouldn't uh, do the configuration again. Otherwise, you need to change uh, change the make.inc and ch change ev everything again. So you just keep, keep everything as uh, the same as last time and run make all. Yeah. If you want to speed up the process, as I said, you can minus J2, or, which means that you use two cores to compile the quantum espresso program. OK. And then we just wait. Okay, so now everything is finished. We we should run the test again to check whether, whether everything is okay. So we we'll go to the test suite. So now that we are in the test suite uh, folder, I don't remember what command to use. One thing is, um, that we can do is to list the files and uh, open the make file. And you can scroll down here. Um, last time we only use run test PW serial and parallel, which means that it only runs uh, tests on the subprogram PW. In this time, if you have time, you can also try directly run test or run test parallel. Yeah. So the basically you just write um, make run tests parallel yeah. and then it will start the uh, test but usually this is this is quite slow because there are tons of tests what you can um, still do let's go back to the to the make file is that you can try to uh, try to run a test for some different program for example this uh, CP so run test CP parallel. Let's try this one and uh, make and see whether it also works for the subprogram CP. If it also also works, I think there is no reason why why other subprograms doesn't work. But of course, if you um, want to see how your uh, computer perf performs, you can also run the test for all of the sub-programs. So you see that um, it is passed. It is a little bit slow, but I guess um, on your computer it should be uh, much faster than my computer. So I'll stop here. So in today's tutorial, I've, I've shown you how to make, how to compile all of the subprograms of Quantum Espresso. And I also show you how to, um, how to test different subprograms or test all of the subprograms. Okay, uh, so hope you enjoy my video and uh, see you next time.